You've been prepped and disarmed. Do you have anything to declare before execution, Dr. Holliday? No, I'm ready. Very well. Enter through the gate on your right when it opens. Enter. How did your instructional execution go this time, stranger? Good. As always. Well done, soldier. General Biggs seems impressed. What's he doing here? He's in the viewing room to assist Ken with my weapons training execution. You must love that. It wouldn't be so bad if you didn't insist on this joke with the electric chair. Not that funny, if you ask me. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. What's that with you? My recorder and notebook. I'll be mapping out the course in my field notes, and I'm testing my new recorder. Testing it? Research takes precedence to the hunt for me. I have to keep notes. Ready when you are, Doctor. Have fun. Ready, Ken! Remain poised and ready to react instantly. Pick up the compass from the chair. Make certain the compass is functioning properly. Remember what I have taught you about speed. You must avoid moving too quickly or too slowly. Find and maintain the proper speed. You are ready. Now, hit this switch on the east door and proceed through. Run! targeting system makes aiming second nature. What you got there is a Luger P08. It's a 9mm semi-automatic sidearm with an 8-round magazine. Finally, when you aimed up or down, did it seem too fast or slow? You must move your weapons quickly, but not so fast that you can't control your aim. One last technique when navigating darkness. Your night vision goggles will help you find your way. However, always beware the danger of bodies of water. Your goggles see through water as though it were not there. Hmm, night vision goggles or multiple flashlight?
enemy attacks, don't just stand there like a civilian firing away. Back away while shooting, keeping maximum distance between yourself and the night crawlers. And if things get too close for comfort, run to a better shooting position. Pick up the items. If you've been hurt badly, you can use the first aid bags to heal yourself. Switch weapons to that rifle you just picked up, soldier. What you're holding now is a Delisle carving, 45 caliber. It has a seven-round magazine and is designed to be a truly silent weapon. It is considered by many to be the most effective firearm of its type ever produced. Time to move on. You may find yourself in a situation with poor visibility. Strategize, run to a better location, then turn and fight. It is often better to retreat back to familiar territory. I must turn around quickly. Just beyond the door, you'll find a melee weapon. Pick it up. This type of weapon will come in handy when you're out of ammo or fighting bulletproof night crawlers. Decapitation is a definitive solution. There is a catch, though. You gotta get up close. We've given you a large wooden stake, reasons you can probably guess. Whether or not you use it is up to you. Large weapons like that stake cannot be stored in your jacket. To use these, you must first ready the weapon by drawing it before you can brandish it. You can put down the weapon when it's not drawn. The rest of this training mission is up to you, Doctor. You must find the exit door by whatever means necessary. It is the only door with a lever. Return to the room with the electric chair to complete this training execution. Begin now. I may need my map for this. lesson of the day. Be ready for anything and never let your guard down. Proceed to the chair room to complete the execution.
instructional execution is complete. If you found yourself running out of ammunition, you should try this training mission again to improve your accuracy. We are finished here. Meet me in the sparring room so I may help you in your pre-mission meditation. And Holiday, Colonel Hapscomb pushed forward his briefing with you and Stranger to 1000 hours tomorrow. That's 1000 hours sharp. Aye, sir. Same place as you? That's impossible. I was just in the hall and... Never mind. Would you like to do the honors, stranger? What do you think? Then allow me. The world is a dark place. Who will protect the world from darkness? We will. After you. Changed since Roosevelt founded Spook House in 1902. Been using the same password for decades. We're becoming predictable. Predictable is dangerous. You are displaying a decided paranoia. No one even knows about this place. Whoever it is, they won't have a hard time getting in here. And you won't be so confident when you're dead within the year. What? Stranger, do you really have to be so morbid all the time? Just once, might we hold a normal conversation? I'll meet you in the Colonel's office. I want to talk with Svetlana. She should be in the training room with Rigson. night again? Unfortunately, yes. Well, why didn't you call me? I could have helped. I was at the house all night. <laughs> I know, but I knew you must have been asleep. And since you usually don't wake me when you have to pull an all-nighter, I thought I could return the favor for once. With as much time as we spend in this lab, Spook House should furnish us with a bed. That would be nice. These dissecting tables are seriously lacking in comfort. I hear you're going out in the field. Be careful. Don't worry. Just feed Dr. Faustus while I'm gone. Will do. The Colonel's waiting for you. You'd better go. Yes, a holiday. Please, have a seat. Colonel, your message sounded urgent. Where is the stranger? Speaking with Svetlana, he'll be in shortly. All right, so let's bring you up to speed then. We have received news of some rather violent murders in Maryland. An old hermit named Rustin Parr walked into Burkittsville and announced that he was finally finished. When authorities searched his house, they discovered the bodies of seven children in the cellar, all of them horribly mutilated, quite a gruesome really. Mutilated? Ritualistically tortured before being killed. He carved symbols of some kind into their bodies. He disemboweled each of them. The entrails were never found. 
Colonel. The FBI sent agents to assist the local sheriff. And their reports lead us to believe there's more at work in that little town than the actions of one insane old man. Oh, holiday. Please, have a seat. Colonel, your message sounded urgent. Where is the stranger? Speaking with Svetlana. He'll be in shortly. All right. So let's bring you up to speed, then. We have received news of some rather violent murders in Maryland. An old hermit named Rustin Parr walked into Burkittsville and announced that he was finally finished. When authorities searched his house, they discovered the bodies of seven children in the cellar. All of them were horribly mutilated and quite a gruesome way. Mutilated? Ritualistically tortured before being killed. He'd carved symbols of some kind into their bodies. He disemboweled each of them. The entrails were never found. Colonel, the FBI sent agents to assist the local sheriff. And their reports lead us to believe there's more at work in that little town than the actions of one insane old man. Pa told police that he killed for an old woman ghost that lives in the woods. Well, that began the local recirculation of legends about the Blair Witch. I should have expected that reaction. Yes, he doesn't like being sent anywhere. He can't shoot something. Nevertheless, I want you to go to Burkittsville and investigate. Call in stranger if you need help. If anyone asks, tell them that your niece has been missing for several months and that you think this Pa character might have had something to do with it. And do avoid confrontation. These people have been living a nightmare. Frightening them any further simply will not do. I'll keep that in mind, Colonel.
desperate thing. Definitely a debt you don't need. I was thinking same thing. Where's Justine? Away. She said sorry she could not stay and uh, be careful on your mission. I see you are traveling light, as usual. Yes, well, we mortals have to depend on our equipment. Right, stranger? Speaking of which... Damn it, stranger! You've been going through my things again! How many times do I have to tell you hands off? Svetlana, I'm going to need my spectral proximity sensor. Are you finished with it? Yeah, I was actually returning it. Expecting ghosts in the woods? You never know what's out there. I know what's not out there. You see, Svetlana, since Stranger has never found evidence to substantiate any of the Black Hills legends, Blair Witch or otherwise, the case is closed, as far as he's concerned. If something's not there, it's not there. You can look all you want. You never had the SPS before, so you could have been surrounded by ghosts the entire time and never known it. I'll find out for sure. What are you packing? Ugh. It's the Enhanced Charged Radiance Emitter. A glorified flashlight at best. It seems you found it useful in Germany. So the Blair Witch is a vampire. Well, that's not likely. But either way, I'll be prepared. Besides, I've made some enhancements. The charge time is decreased, and it operates on a far wider spectrum. I'm hoping it also affects ghosts and specters. Mm -hmm. Taking anything that shoots real bullets. My Luger and a Delisle carbine. Good choices. Quiet. Colonel's advice, huh? Ah, yes. Mustn't forget your trusty recorder. Oh, it's more than a recorder. It can also manipulate audio signals. With it, I can hear sounds that are normally undetectable. And the fancy camera you modified. Photographic records are essential to my research. Well, I guess that's about everything. Good luck, Doctor. Not going to wish me luck? If you still need luck with all that gear, you're really in trouble. Oh, and be sure and call me if you run into any actual monsters. Welcome to Burkittsville, ma'am. Uh, I'd like a room, please. Certainly. Will your husband be joining you? I'm not married. I see. So you're uh, traveling alone, then? I am. Is there a problem? Oh, <laughs> certainly not, ma'am. No, no problem at all. We just don't get many visitors through here, that's all. Except for the reporters, of course. The last of them finally cleared out this morning. Good riddance, I say. So, what did happen then, exactly? God only knows what the papers outside of town are saying. I'm sure they're having a field day with it. Not that the story isn't terrific enough as it is. Our local paper, the Register, will give you the best account. You should see about picking up a copy. Here's your key. I've put you in room four. How long do you think you'll be staying with us? Um, a few days, I imagine.
Field Notes of Dr. Elspeth Holliday, Burkittsville, Maryland, July 21st, 1941. I've only been here half an hour, and already the small-town attitude is getting on my nerves. The manager at Burkittsville's only inn just stood there waiting for my husband to show up. Guess he's never seen a woman travelling alone. I'll see the sheriff next, play up my cover story, and maybe aim for a little pity. The helpless woman routine should go over easily in this town.